All right, hey everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can contribute to T. And the best place for you to start is obviously you want to authenticate with T. And I've made another video about how you can do that. And how you can contribute is really going to our GitHub um, and specifically the white paper. Um, make sure you're at uh, txyz slash white dash paper. Um, and you see this right here. There's three ways you can contribute. One is by, you know, fixing typos um, in the white paper itself, adding examples to the white paper, or most importantly, I think the biggest contribution would be to help translate the white paper into different languages. Um, you could start by translating it into your native language, um, and we've actually added a very interesting section on here that kind of like guides you through this process of how to translate it and then open a pull request, so a change that can be merged back into the main white paper. So right now we don't have any translations here, um, but for you to start, um, first of all, I will show you how to get it done very simple um, and all you need is a browser really um, to do this so as per the instructions um, we want to fork the repo so i'm going to go here and click because i already have a fork but for you if you're new you want to hit uh, the fork button right up here i'm going to go to my fork and you will know that it's a fork when it says forked from txyz white stash, uh, dash paper. And if this is your GitHub handle here, right here. So from here on out, it becomes super easy. Um, you just need to type gitpod.io forward slash and a hash um, before GitHub starts. And Gitpod is basically a virtual um, web-based um, IDE where you can program in and you will see what I mean. So when you hit enter, it will actually open a workspace. It will probably ask you to log in with GitHub. Um, that way you're authenticated. Um, but this flow will be very easy for you. Then it will open a bunch of stuff. Um, and it actually is a um, VS Code instance right here in your browser. Um, it will try to run something because it detects a make file, but of course this fails because it doesn't have the necessary dependencies installed. So we can just ignore this and write clear to kind of clear our browser right here. Um, sorry, our terminal. Then. Let me go to the instructions again so that I'm clear on what we need to do and we can just like guide you through it. So the first step would be to create a new branch, GitHub checkout dash B, and then the name of the branch, I18N, the name of the language. So we want to use um two character ISO code here. So for German, that would be DE, for French, that's FR, for English, that's EN, and so on. I'm gonna translate it in German, so I'm gonna put DE here. And then finally, as per the instructions, we want to add the version, which we um, want to base this new branch on top. So the version is 1.-.3, as of this recording, um, I will show you how you can get kind of, let me just show you real quick. If you forked it, uh, if you freshly forked it, you can get the um, ref.0. You can get the latest tag or the latest version with this command git describe breath zero. All right. I want to enable this. Okay, 
So now we can create our branch because we're on the latest version. And you will see here in the brackets, it actually changed to this new uh, branch. Uh, if we hit get branch, again, we will see the main branch is not active, but the i18n DE branch is active. Perfect. So now we need to make a sub folder for our new branch, um, for our translation. And this is also very simple. So you hit write mkdir-p for make directory. And then the p means that we make all the directories. So i18n and de. We hit enter. And we see that we have an empty directory. We created i18n as a folder and de as a folder within that. They're both empty. So now we need to copy over two files, the white paper file and the metadata file. And we want to copy them into the directory that we have just created. All right. So this might take a second to show up here. We can reload this. And here we go. These are now identical copies of these two files in the root folder. That's important because for the translation, we only want to work within this translation folder. So we've got two files here, the metadata file, which contains the title and the abstract, the authors and the references, but also how our program kind of creates the PDF, the final PDF. And then the white paper as a markdown file um, that contains all the different sections, including the headers and the, the meat, so the content um, of, of the white paper. Great. There is a couple of things that we need to add to the metadata YAML file, um, which is these four items. And we can just copy them from here. Um, we can also like hit the copy icon here on the right side. And then we go out to our YAML file and hit paste. So we can delete these comments. Um, they're not really needed. Um, you can see that the header includes is duplicated with the one up here. So what we want to do is actually we want to copy this um, and add it right here instead. Um, then we can delete this. We, our language, German at least, is um, left to right. Um, maybe if you're translating a language that's uh, read and written in the other direction, you want to change this to RTL um, so that our program understands in which direction um, we should write the, the white paper. Most importantly, however, we want to add the language right here. And here's again, a manual of which language codes are supported. Um, so DE is for German. Um, and I believe it also uses the ISO uh, two character code for languages right here. And then finally, you want to use change your name here. And it says here, expand these variables. Um, what that means is we want to write which version we are translating and to which language. So plus DE. That's all we need to do here. And then, of course, we want to translate um, both of these. All right, perfect. Don't forget, forget to, to hit save. Um, can do this with, um, on Mac, it's command S. All right. So now we want to start translating. Here, we only have two things to translate, the title and the abstract. So let me pull up my translation for the title and paste it right here. And then let me pull up the translation for the abstract and paste it right here. Perfect. Now this file is already saved. That's all. That's all we need to translate in the metadata file. Over to the white paper, we want to translate 
the the titles, uh, so the headers, but also the content. Um, because this document is quite long, it will take some time for me to translate. So I just want to skip ahead and show you the process of how you can commit your code and then commit it back to, right? If your files don't show up here, you want to hit that refresh so that it understands that there are some changes to be made. Specifically, if we look at into each file, we see a kind of like an, a difference between before and after. So before this file didn't exist, now it exists. Uh, same with the white paper, even though it's not translated yet, we created a new instance or a new file within this folder i18n slash de. There's also another file called gitpod.yaml, which kind of like talks about what the init tasks should be. Um, we don't want this. So we're not going to commit this to our um, to our new branch. If you want to commit only these two files, you want to click on each file and then hit this like plus button. It's called stage. I want to make sure that we have staged both files. Now we have kind of like staged and changes. And state changes are ready to be committed. So right here, I'm going to set add German translation and hit commit. So now these files are committed and they don't no longer appear here because they're now committed to Git. Um, however, they're not yet um, pushed to your GitHub. So what we want to do is we want to write git push u origin and then i18nde, the same branch name as you have named it here. So in your case, if it's de for German, then you want to hit de. Um, if you use any other language code, you should write that other language code. So this is the branch name. And then I'm going to hit enter and it will create that branch. Um, it will say create new branch. And when we go to our, our Git repository, we can see right here that i18n DE has recent pushes less than a minute ago, compare and pull request. And now you want to add kind of like a pull request, make sure that the base repository is the TXYZ white paper and the base is main, so the main branch and that your head repository is your ID and the white and the repository's name and the, the branch that you just committed to. So now I can add here, add German translation. Um, I can also add kind of like checkboxes, translate metadata and translate white paper. Now I can preview this and we can check this because we completed this already, but we haven't translated the white paper yet. So now I can want to allow edits by maintainers so that we as the white paper uh, maintainers from T can make changes to your edits if necessary. Then we create a pull request. And the pull request is now open on the T white paper repository, along with all the other white um, translations available. Perfect. So hope you learned something and I hope you have fun translating the white paper into your language. And thank you so much for, you know, following along. I hope this video helps. We also have a written up version. Um, if you have any questions, do reach out on Discord. Um, we're happy to assist you and available um, on Discord. So just join our Discord channel. Um, and yeah, looking forward to your submissions. Um, thank you so much for contributing to T and spreading the word about it.